When you're number one in the off-road, everyone wants a shot at the title. We say anytime, any place, and challenge all comers to a head-to-head -head battle for off-road bragging rights. Today's contest features the Polaris Ranger Razor S800 going up against the Can-Am Commander 1000 XT. It's a no-holds-barred battle to see which machine can deliver the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. Razor Sharp's sport performance starts with a sport-specific design. To help separate sport performer from sport pretender, we took both machines to the garage for a weigh-in. The Commander 1000 XT tips the scales at 1,532 pounds, while the Ranger Razor S weighs in at just 1,112 pounds, over 400 pounds lighter than the Commander. And Ranger Razor S carries its weight better for sport riding. With its low seat height and patented engine behind the seat design, Razor S has an extremely low center of gravity. The sport-specific chassis creates a 60-40 rear weight bias, the ideal balance to ensure responsive steering up front and positive traction in back. It's a whole different story with Commander. With its upright seating position and conventional engine between the seats design, Commander's center of gravity is 16% higher than Ranger Razor S. No contest here. The Ranger Razor S clearly dominates the Commander when it comes to sport-specific design. Big bumps and radical ruts are part of the fun for hardcore sport riders. To see which machine has the better sport suspension, we'll run them both over this gnarly section of Desert Whoops at 20 miles per hour. Ranger Razor S, with its sport-tuned suspension and low center of gravity, soaks up the bumps with ease. And with a full 12 inches of travel and 12.5 inches of ground clearance, there's no bottoming or bucking on even the biggest bumps. That's clearly not the case with Commander. It has 12% less ground clearance and 16% less travel than Ranger Razor S. And with its shorter wheelbase and higher center of gravity, once the Commander starts bucking, there's no stopping until you're off the bumps. The battle of the bumps is no contest. When it comes to sport suspension, Ranger Razor S easily beats the Commander. Aggressive sport riding demands razor sharp handling. To see which machine is the most agile, we'll take a close look at the three phases of sport cornering. Braking into the turn, traction through the turn, and acceleration out of the turn. When you hit the brakes to set up for a corner, you want an immediate response. Ranger Razor S delivers. Unlike Commander, Ranger Razor S has brakes on all four wheels. It also has bigger rotors and more total piston area. Enter the corner and Ranger Razor S's sport tuned suspension immediately works to maintain traction. All four wheels are preset with 1.5 degrees of camber for maximum cornering force. And the front and rear dual A-arms allow the wheels to move slightly outward, widening track width and increasing stability when you need it most. Commander, with a single link trailing arm suspension, zero rear camber and fixed track width simply can't keep up. Coming out of the corner, Ranger Razor S keeps pulling away. Its low weight and crisp throttle response give you immediate acceleration when you want it. And the true on-demand all-wheel drive engages in less than a quarter of a wheel turn whenever it's needed to help pull you out of the corner and down the trail. Commander's Viscolock system requires as many as five spins of the wheel before it builds up the pressure needed to engage. Add it all up, and it's clear Ranger Razor S delivers a level of agility Commander simply cannot match. Sport performance demands crisp, responsive power. No secret Ranger Razor S is giving away over 200 cc's and 30 horses to the Commander 1000 XT. But what does that mean in real-world sport performance? Hit the gas for a straight ahead drag race and the two machines are dead even out of the hole and up to 20 miles per hour. 
After that, the commander starts to pull away, but only if you keep going in a straight line on a smooth track. Straight line drag racing has nothing to do with off-road sport performance. Let's see how the machines compare on the whoops, twisties, and sweepers of this true desert trail. To ensure accurate results, the same professional driver will take both machines on a series of hot laps around the same set course. Precise lap times will be captured with RIPEX, a state-of-the-art GPS-enabled measurement device designed specifically for action sports. Commander goes first, and the results aren't pretty. Despite its ample horsepower, Commander clearly lacks the suspension and agility to deliver true sport performance. On three laps around the half-mile course, Commander has an average lap time of over 82 seconds. Turn Ranger Razor S loose on the course, and it's a very different story. With 400 pounds less weight to get moving and 12% faster throttle response, Ranger Razor S has plenty of power to rocket around the course. And because that power is purposely combined with industry-leading suspension and agility, Ranger Razor S literally leaves Commander in the dust. Ranger Razor S has an average lap time of just 75 seconds, a full seven seconds faster than the Commander. That means it takes just 11 trips around the course for Ranger Razor S to lap the Commander. Raw horsepower is meaningless without the suspension and agility to put it to work. Ranger Razor S totally outperforms Commander 1000 XT when it comes to real responsive power for true sport performance. Round after round, the Ranger Razor S800 rises to the challenge and beats the Can-Am Commander 1000 XT. Ranger Razor S also beats Commander when it comes to value, with an MSRP a full $1,800 less than the 1000 XT. Despite its hefty price tag and raw horsepower, Commander lacks the suspension and agility to be a true sport performer. Ranger Razor S has it all, delivering the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. Ranger Razor S is Razor Sharp Sport Performance Defined. <laughs>